Okay, so let's have this topic. So finding the derivative of natural log. So if y equals ln u, so to get the derivative, y prime is equal to du or derivative of u over u. So we have this given, so find the derivative y equals ln 3x plus 5. So from this formula, then on this given, u is equal to 3x plus 5. Then to get the derivative of u, so derivative of 3x, that's 3, and derivative of 5, that's 0, so du is equal to 3. So to get now the derivative of this given, so using this formula, y prime is equal to du, so du is 3, over u, that's 3x plus 5. So this is the derivative. Then for this given, so u is equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. Then to get the derivative of u, so derivative of 2x squared, that's 4x, derivative of 4x, this one is 4, and the derivative of 8, that's 0, so du is 4x plus 4. So to solve now for the derivative, so y prime is equal to du over u, so du is 4x plus 4 over u, that's 2x squared plus 4x minus 8. But since all the numerical coefficient are divisible by 2, so divide all the numbers by 2, so y prime is equal to this 4x divided by 2 and 4 divided by 2, that's 2x plus 2. Then for the denominator, 2 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2, and 8 divided by 2. So that's x squared plus 2x minus 4. So this is now the derivative. Then we also have this y equals ln square root of 4x minus 3. Now first, we need to rewrite this radical in exponential form. So if we have square root of x, so in exponential form, this one is x to the power 1 half. So therefore, y is equal to ln, then 4x minus 3, to the power 1 half. Then using the property of logarithm, the power property, that's ln x to the power n, is equal to n ln x. So therefore, y is equal to, this exponent becomes the numerical coefficient times ln 4x minus 3. Then to find out the derivative, so u that's 4x minus 3, and derivative of u, so derivative of 4x that's 4, this one is 0, so du is equal to 4. Then to solve now for the derivative, so y prime equals, uh, you need to write first this uh, numerical coefficient, that's 1 half, times the derivative, of ln 4x minus 3. So using this formula, that's du over u. So du is 4, then u, that's 4x minus 3. Then simplify this 4 and 2, so divisible by 2. This one is uh, 2. So y prime now is equal to 2 over 4x minus 3. So this is the derivative. Then we have this given, so using the quotient property of logarithm, so that's ln m over n is equal to ln m minus ln n. So we can rewrite now this uh, given as y equals ln 2x squared minus 5, then minus ln 3x plus 2 to the power 2. Then using the power property, so that's ln 2x squared minus 5, minus 2, then ln 3x plus 2. Then find now the derivative for every term. So for the first term, u, that's 2x squared minus 5, 
du. So, derivative of 2x squared, that's 4x. This one is 0. Then, for the second term, u, that's 3x plus 2. Then, derivative now of 3x, that's 3. This one is 0. So, to solve now for the derivative, so y prime equals for the first term, that's du over u. So, du is 4, then u, that's 2x squared minus 5. Then, minus for the second term, write first this numerical coefficient, then times the derivative of ln 3x plus 2. So, du is 3, then u, that's 3x plus 2. Then simplify, so multiply this 2 to 3. So y prime is equal to 4x over 2x squared minus 5. Then minus 6 over 3x plus 2. So this is now the derivative. And for this last given, so y equals ln cosine 4x. So u is equal to cosine 4x. Then the derivative of u. Since the derivative of cosine is negative sine, then 4x times the derivative of 4x, so times 4. So du now is negative 4 sine 4x. So to solve now for the derivative, so we have du over u. So du is negative 4 sine 4x over u, that's cosine 4x. Then since there is an identity, the tangent is equal to sine over cosine, and we have this sine over cosine. So therefore, y prime is equal to negative 4, and the identity of sine over cosine, that's tangent. So negative 4 times tangent 4x. So this is now the derivative.